East Park Reservoir is a really unique place in California. It's Reclamation's first reservoir in the state, and it's a part of California that a lot of people don't get to see. Orland Water Users runs the, the water out of East Park Reservoir for the irrigation facilities. In 2020, the gate failed. In 2021, with the uh, water level being what it was with the, the ongoing drought, a, a collaborative decision was made between Calusa, Reclamation, and Orland Water Unit to effectuate those repairs when the water was as low as it was. Two years ago, after the lake was drawn down and, and began to refill, we contracted out and purchased many tens of thousands of fish to restock this lake. Most of them came in as just very young fish. We also got a few adults of some of the fish. We started monitoring the fishery. And every few months, we'd come out to see what fish we could catch. At first, there was nothing because the lake had just refilled. But then after we started stocking fish, we started seeing a, a few of the fry. After a few months, we saw brand new fry that we knew were born in the lake and the, the other fish had reproduced. And, and that's what was really satisfying to see this population rebound so quickly. This has been a very successful collaboration between the Bureau of Reclamation and Calusa County. Uh, there's been great communication throughout the entire project and we've just really had shared common goals and interests on making this a really enjoyable place for everyone. In the spring of 2022 is when we made all of our fish deliveries and the restocking effort really kicked off. Now we're two years later and we're returning to East Park to check on the fish population, collect some data and show folks that East Park Fishery is back and they're ready to return for camping and, and recreation on this beautiful lake. This project has been really exciting for me as a fish biologist. Maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity to restart a fishery from ground zero and get the right fish assemblage in here, monitor their progress through time from fry to, to big adults. It's really satisfying and, and, and a lot of fun. Today was our first day of electrofishing, where we took an electrofishing boat out and shocked up the fish that we had stocked two years ago to examine their growth and look for reproduction. Electrofishing it uses electrical current to stun the fish so that we can net them up, and once they're returned to the water, they, uh, they shrug it off and they're fine. But uh, for a few seconds when they're in, that, in the water in between the cathode and anode, they get stunned and uh, we're able to net them up. I think a highlight of this project from the last two years was how quickly we saw the fish grow and get to reproductive size, reproduce, and now there are just a very high abundance of the fish we put in here because they, they have reproduced. My, uh, my favorite fish that we shocked up, we were deep into a cove with a lot of vegetation and a little bit of woody debris. And as we were sneaking up to the end of the cove, two big bass floated up and we, we netted them and got them in the live well. And each of them was just under five pounds. And so, you know, really big bass for, for the short amount of time that they've been in this lake, but just showing really rapid growth. They're big, healthy fish. This project has definitely met my expectations. Going from fry to nearly five pound bass in just two years, it, it's, it's really exciting for me because I can't wait to come back next year, the year after, and do some fishing and, and maybe catch uh, a real big, beautiful bass. East Park Reservoir is a vital piece to our community and to Calusa County with local economic impacts that make a difference to everyone and to everyday lives of our community.